In Piku, the 30-something main character is a fiercely independent woman who owns a successful company, has casual sexual relationships and runs a hectic household all while being a devoted caregiver to a 70-year-old widowed father. The Swaddle presents Recasting. In Hindi cinema, being a devoted daughter is a defining quality of a good heroine. <laughs> and that devotion is usually measured through two metrics, obedience and chastity. Being obedient means respecting elders' wishes, getting the kind of education her family wants, and most importantly, getting married at the right time. In fact, an obedient daughter understands her position as pariah dhan, a burden on her parents till she gets married and ensures that she relieves them of this burden on time. And I think it's like that now it's time to take that dhulan to the dhuli and take it to the dhuli. Ironically, this means that she prioritizes her husband's family over her own, treating her duty to her parents as secondary. My house, my family, Mummy, Papa, Aunt, all are here. On the other hand, being chaste means keeping her sexual desires in check by wearing the right kind of clothes, refraining from openly exploring her sexuality, and abstaining from premarital sex or romance. हमारी संस्कृति में लड़के लड़कियाँ शादी से पहले ऐसे संबंध नहीं मानते. To marry a man of her parents' choice. In fact, most often the main cause for conflict between parents and daughters is romance. This gets resolved only when the daughter's lover proves himself a worthy suitor by winning over the patriarch, aka the daughter's father. Meri beti ko khush rakhoge, baat. But this is where Piku breaks the mold. By detaching the daughter's devotion from these conservative notions of obedience and chastity, there are sex life to active hai na. Wo jo ladka partner shayad, it's a need. It makes us view the devoted daughter in an entirely new light. Chhed kar leke kyun nahi bate aap log? Kitna percent green, kitna percent yellow. Instead of being financially dependent on her father, Piku runs her own company. She is outspoken and fierce, and by Indian society standards, she is. Too old to be single. Why don't you both get married, yeah? Jani na maashi. And yet, far from being concerned about getting her married, Piku's father Bhaskar scares off a man her aunt has set her up with, fearing he'd be too conservative for his free-spirited daughter. Financially independent, hai, sexually independent, hai. Ye tumara according nice hai. Her sexuality doesn't cause any conflict between her and her father. On the contrary, Piku is open about her casual sexual relationships. If you ask me, I think casual he ठीक आ चुका. And Bhaskar even welcomes her casual sexual partners at home. The film goes a step further to show how, in a more liberated setting, marriage might even be at odds with a daughter's ability to be devoted to her parents. शादी तो नहीं करने वाले आप मेरी. At least इससे कुछ होने दीजिए. Instead of being a compulsion, marriage becomes a choice. तो अगर किसी को मुझे शादी करनी है तो तो तुम्हारे नब्बे साल के बच्चे को अडॉप्ट करना पड़ेगा। बिल्कुल। Instead of glorifying this devotion, though, the film paints a nuanced portrait of the turn a parent-child relationship takes when the child becomes the primary caregiver of an elderly parent. Grief and irritation coexist with love and affection in an honest exploration of the daily stresses and sacrifices that come with being a caregiver. Twenty-five kilometer cycling, नहीं कर सकते आप समझे? And ultimately, in depicting how Piku deals with her father's death. The film also shows us what a healthy model of devotion can look like. Piku did not submerge herself or forget who she was as a result of her devotion to her father. Instead, that relationship gave her purpose and a sense of self that defines who she is even after her father is gone.